Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tasha if you're new and if you haven't subscribed yet Don't forget to click the subscription button if you like informative product reviews And you can check out some of my other videos for those who have already subscribed. Thanks very much for your support I really appreciate it I know you've probably seen the vacuum blackhead remover circulate in the internet and I was very curious about it too So I bought one and I've tried it for a couple weeks now So today I want to review it and let you guys know my thoughts and the one I will be reviewing today is the Xpeen Blackhead Remover with Blue Light. And this is what it looks like. And I purchased this one on Amazon for 39 Canadian dollars, but there's a wide variety of them online. You can get some that are cheaper and some that's way more expensive. It just depends on what exactly you're looking for. So reading the package of this, apparently it's not only designed to remove blackheads, but it's also designed to remove fine lines, exfoliate your skin and tighten your pores. Some people are very disciplined and they don't burst pimples, but for me, I can't help myself. Like, it just bothers me if it's there, so I always try to burst it, and of course, it leaves the dark spots. So my thinking then, buying the blackhead remover, is that I wouldn't have to burst the pimples myself. I could just use the blackhead remover, and it would just pull out whatever is there, and it won't leave any dark spot. I don't know, that was my thought process. So let me start by showing you the things that came in the box. There are four vacuum heads which are called probes. Let's start from top to bottom. The one that's currently on the blackhead remover right now is called the Big Round Probe and this one is designed for strong suction for acne and blackhead. And the first one on the side is known as the Exfoliating Probe and this one is designed to exfoliate your skin while removing blackhead and that's why it has a silver thing on top which is like a scrub. And below that is the Small Round Probe and this one is designed to remove blackheads around your nose area. And the last one is the oval probe. And this one is designed to tighten your skin and reduce fine lines. The package also comes with a blackhead remover set. There's also a charger in it, which is really good because I wouldn't buy it if I had to use batteries in it, to be honest. Um, so it's just easy and more convenient to charge it. And the package you see there with the little white sponges, those are filters and you should change them every single time you use the device. And it goes underneath the probe head. I'll show you. So all you have to do is to turn the head to remove it. And when you remove it, it looks like this. And this is where the filter goes. You just take out the filter anytime you're finished and replace it with another one. And you just put it in like this. Make sure that it's lined up properly. You just put it in and then you put the probe head back on. And anytime you're finished, you just take it off, get rid of it and then replace it with a new one. I read somewhere that you can just wash them and reuse them, but I'm not 100% sure and I haven't done that. I still have a lot left, so I'll just look to see if maybe I can buy some more online or if it even makes sense to wash them. If you've washed and reused them, just leave a comment below and let me know if it still works the same. And it also comes with an instruction manual to show you how to use it. Another thing is that it's designed with this blue light to help calm your skin, shrink your pores and remove blackheads. To turn on the blue light on this device, all you need to do is to press the power button twice. And this blackhead remover has three suction levels. So to get started, you need to press and hold the power button once and that will take it to the first suction level which is soft then you press it one more time and it takes you to the second level which is normal and the third level is strong there are tons of videos out there with people using this on their face and also I don't want to gross anyone out um, so I'll just show you how the suction level operates on my arm so let's get started so for the first level which is soft this is what it looks like on my arm See this is how it pulls, pulls my arm up. It's gentle but it's still working. Let's move on to the second level which is normal. See there's a lot of tension, you can notice the difference. And the third level is strong. See how strong it is? I wouldn't recommend leaving it in one spot. Always make sure that you drag it along instead of just don't don't do this because then you can hurt yourself you should always just drag it along the area so that way it can pull out all the blackheads or tiny your skin if that's what you're looking for Oops. 
You see how bruised my arm looks? I think it's mainly because I use all three suction levels on the same spot and mainly because of the third suction level. It's very strong so you can easily bruise with that. In the beginning I used to bruise a lot but as I got more used to it and I stopped using the, the third level I realized just using the normal level and if you quickly run it over your face you won't have any bruising. So you just have to check out which one of the suction level is good for your skin type. But here are a few tips if you're going to use this. Make sure that you clean the device properly before you start using it. A quick way to clean it is to use Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. I just spray it on it and then you use the Q-tip to clean the inside of it. And when you're finished, you can just take it off and wash it in soap water. Or you can also just use the rubbing alcohol. I usually wash it with soap water and then when it's dried, I rub it with alcohol again. And always ensure that you replace the filter and you just put it back on so it's very simple to clean it's not that complicated so here are the things that i really like about it for one i like that it comes with multiple suction heads so you have different options depending on which part of your body you want to use it on another thing i like about it is the suction level it really works even when i use the soft level you could see that it pulled up my skin and there's a noticeable difference every time I go higher in the strength and because it works so well you don't even need to go beyond using a normal level and another thing, as I mentioned earlier, I really like that it comes with a charger, so I don't have to worry about batteries. And if you want to charge it, you just plug it under here. And the final thing is that it really works well on my nose, and every time I use it, I always check the probe just to see if there's anything in it, because I want to know if it's working or not. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that before you start using it, always make sure that you steam your face so it opens your pores, so it's easier for the vacuum remover to get rid of the blackheads or pimples. Now that I told you about the things I like about it, let's move on to the things that I do not like about it. First off, let's start with this blue light. I don't think it does anything at all. I don't feel any cooling or calming effect from it. I think it's just there to make it look fancy or if you're doing it in the dark, it probably gives you a little bit of light. But I don't know who would be using this in the dark. But if it's there to calm your skin and stuff, I haven't felt that. So I think it's... It's just another fancy thing they throw in. The next problem I have is with this exfoliating scrub. Just by touching it with your finger, it feels like sandpaper. I would never put this on my face. This, the most useful place I probably would think you can use this is probably on your foot. If you have like some rough feet and you want to scrub it away. That's as best of use I could find for this. But I would never recommend that anyone put this on their face. It's just way too rough for that i think they need to redesign this one and they could still have the exfoliating feature but maybe find something that's a bit softer because the having the suction and having this so rough you're definitely going to scrape and bruise yourself at the same time which makes no sense so i wouldn't recommend using this until they change it the other thing is that even though it works on my nose my main area of concerns were the blackheads on my cheeks and this just didn't work I did what the instructions said, I steamed my face, then I started off with soft and I even went up to the strongest level and I tried it multiple times. Only thing I ended up with was my face being bruised and I think maybe that was my fault because I need to learn to be a little bit more soft. I'm not the most gentle person at all, like I am so rough when it comes down to like washing my face or doing anything on my body. I just, I don't know why, but I'm just a rough person. So I just kept going in the same spot over and over, which is something you shouldn't do. And I ended up bruising my face. The bruising was my fault. I really just wanted to see if it would work. Because I've watched so many videos of people using it and they always show all this stuff that it pulls out. But I didn't realize that all these videos I've watched, they only show it on their nose. They didn't show it on any other parts of their face. So it just made me start wondering if this is just not meant for other parts of your face. I bought this from April and I've been using it multiple times and I still have not pulled out any blackheads on my cheek. So it made me curious and I started to do some research because I really wanted to know if I was using it wrong or maybe if I should just buy a different brand. So this is what I found out. The first thing, these vacuums only work on blackheads that are already loosened under the skin. So I think that's the main reason why they want you to steam your face first so that way the vacuum can easily pull out the blackheads that are already loosened. I guess for me I didn't have any blackheads that were already loosened so maybe that's why it didn't work. The next thing is that if too much suction is applied to the skin, you can get bruising like I showed you on my arm earlier or you can get a condition called telangiectasis. Well, I hope I didn't butcher that word. If so, I will put it on the screen so you can see how it's spelled. 
Telangiastasis are small broken blood vessels in the skin and depending on the severity of it, you might need laser treatment to improve the appearance. It made me worry when I found this out because my face was already bruised, but thankfully it only took, I think, one, one and a half day to fully clear up and then I was fine again. Before now I wouldn't have known that because I've watched videos but nobody mentioned anything like this. I think that's something they should put on the box so people are more cautious when they're using the product because I'm sure a lot of people don't know the amount of damage they can actually cause themselves by using this incorrectly. The next thing is that there are many other solutions on the market that we can use to remove or prevent blackhead. For example, glycolic acid. This one will help to exfoliate and it penetrates deep into your skin to clean out your pores and then it helps to remove blackheads or any form of pimples you have over time. And another thing is that if you're wearing makeup, it's always good to try to get one that's oil free so it doesn't clog your pores. And if you really want to get the vacuum blackhead remover experience, you can always go to a professional. Like There are many spas that offer this service and at least you know that they will be more cautious when using it and they'll know like your skin type and the proper procedure to get it done. So that's another option that you could choose. Overall, I'm not disappointed that I bought it even though it doesn't work for me because I learned something new. My takeaway from this is that instead of me trying the vacuum, which obviously doesn't work for me, I'll just stick to one of the other solutions that are on the market to remove blackheads. We all know that everyone is different, so what might not work for me might work better for you. So my advice to you if you're interested in buying this is to make sure that you find the right suction level for your skin. And the other thing is that to make sure that you don't use it in one spot for too long, so that way you don't damage your skin. Well, these are my thoughts on this Xpeen Vacuum Blackhead Remover with Blue Light. I hope you learned something so this can help you decide if this is a product for you or not. Well, thanks so much for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.